It's an exciting time to be part of the Toowoomba region and Council continues to deliver on our 2014-2019 corporate plan. The financial year ahead will be characterised by responsible spending in order to meet the critical needs of our community. This is a budget that uses our strong financial position to enhance services to our residents and seize opportunities before us. We look forward to working with the community in making the Toowoomba region an even better place to live, work and play. With an overall 2.8% net increase to the rates and charges revenue base, this budget prioritises what is important for the future and the services our community expects. A typical average property in the Toowoomba Region Council area may experience a 3% increase in general rate, which Council considers both prudent and financially responsible given the quantum and breadth of infrastructure works being delivered. There will be no increase in the water charges. Our special purpose levies the Park and Bushland Levy, the Environmental Levy and the Natural Resources Management Levy have each been increased by $5 to meet the ongoing and increasing responsibilities of these activities. With $282 million allocated for operational expenditure and just under $213 million for capital works, this budget balances the provision of high quality services with careful planning for the future that this region needs. We are pleased to announce the Queensland Treasury Corporation, our banker, has revised Council's credit rating upward to the sound with a neutral outlook to reflect our current financial strength and just as importantly Council's effectiveness and commitment to long-term financial planning, an undeniable hallmark of this administration. Keeping our region safe is important in this budget with maintenance of current city safe video equipment and an upgrade and expansion of the program. There has been $2 million allocated to complete structural works this year on the Neal Street bus interchange and car park. A night out on the town wouldn't be complete without a show at the Empire Theatre and Council will again contribute toward improving the precinct to attract world-class productions and entertainment to our region. There's a reason 1.7 million visitors flock to our region every year. Our four distinct seasons, breathtaking views, regional flavours and city country living can't be replicated. Events across our region, like our national award-winning Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers, show our tourists exactly why we love living here. Maintenance and safety of our roads is always a priority, with more than 12 million for asphalt overlays, resealing our roads, gravel resheeting and road rehabilitation. The growth of our region also means a growth in our road network. This year, Council will give ongoing focus to major projects such as the continuation of Omara Road, the dual carriageway from Warragos to the south of Whitmack Road, Cecil Plains Mooney Road, Crow's Nest Hayden Road and the John Derry Nunjal Road at a cost of more than $25 million. Council also looks forward with tremendous anticipation to the commencement of the Toowoomba Second Range Crossing and we are undertaking current infrastructure works and additional future planning to ensure this major project integrates seamlessly with our road network. The $1.6 billion project will be realised by an 80% contribution from the Federal Government and a 20% State Government contribution. We would like to thank both levels of Government for their continued support of this region changing project. Keeping our facilities across the region maintained is important and the Pioneer Village refurbishment in Pittsworth the Yarraman Library and Post Office, the Clifton Library and Art Gallery will be the beneficiaries of a refresh. The new state-of-the-art CBD Library building is an important project for our community and progress on this speaks for itself. The Library and Stage 1 of the Civic Square will be completed this financial year with a budget of $17 million. The Aquatic Centre Owners Program, with a budget of more than $1 million, aims to enhance disability access and toddlers' facilities. Clifton Pool will also see an upgrade during 2015-16 with a $420,000 budget. Council has allocated almost $53.8 million for the provision of new and replacement water and sewerage infrastructure across the region, including the continuation of work on the new Pittsworth wastewater treatment plant, the extension of the sewerage networks in Kingsthorpe, Gary Junction, Westbrook and the Toowoomba Enterprise Hub at Charlton. 
Trunk and reticulation water main replacements and extensions across the region will cost $4.3 million. A further $37 million has been allocated for the operation and maintenance of water and sewerage schemes across the region. By the end of December this year, residents will see the completion of the new state-of-the-art Greater Toowoomba Waste Management Facility in O'Mara's Road, Charlton, at a project cost of around $22 million. We are committed to the goal of a safer, stronger, more resilient region by continuing to improve flood management and community awareness of flood risk. To make sure we plan for our livability into the future, Council will focus on delivering the Toowoomba West Local Plan and starting a second planning process on the growth areas to the city's north and west. Council is continuing to work on establishing a positive environment in which business and development can prosper through initiatives such as the appointment of an economic advisor for the district areas and more hands-on assistance to small business throughout the region. A Lay My Art program with a total cost of $30,000 as part of the endorsed city centre public realm design program will help activate and enliven existing laneways in our CBD. Kwong Sang Walk in Ruthven Street will also be completed with $50,000 allocated to finish in line with the city centre master plan and this document continues to be an important influence in shaping our CBD. The 2012 planning scheme is currently being reviewed and a number of amendments will occur this year relating to matters such as urban design, density and neighbourhood character. Our parks and gardens remain one of our greatest assets and more than 18 million has been allocated for maintenance and upkeep across the region to help residents continue to enjoy our outdoor environment. Almost $1.4 million will be dedicated to progressing the Queen's Park Master Plan in Toowoomba and there are a number of parks across the region receiving maintenance and upgrades including Lyons Park in Wilmerin, Centenary Park in Crow's Nest, Bicentennial Park in West Meringadan and Kingsthorpe Recreation Ground. We are known for the talent of our sportsmen and women and we're proud to have a number of athletes call our region home. That is why we have dedicated 9.5 million to complete stage one of the new sports precinct in Highfields. This year, there is a strong focus on making sure our community has a voice with a number of new consultation tools like our Your Say site, as well as the revitalisation of our external website. We're also focused on refreshing our social media network to make sure you are kept up to date with all things TRC. Our Toowoomba region brand has also seen an update and you will start seeing a brand that is refreshed, contemporary and more inclusive of what makes our region so unique. Council is proud of its 2015-16 budget and what it means for our community. For more information and a full analysis of the budget, visit our website.